Hi guys! So I know a lot of you have pants that you can't wear anymore because it's too short, too hot, or just completely out of style. So I have these capri braces that are really cute, but I think it's kind of confused between being a pair of pants or being a pair of shorts. They look good like that, but it doesn't fit with my personal taste. So let's turn these into shorts. First, you'll have to try them on to see where you want your short to hit. Then carefully and slightly take a pin and jab it at the mark. Take off the pants and examine the marking with your fuzzy buddy. Okay, so I'm kidding, but oh my god, it took forever to push gelato off of my pants! So what you're gonna do next is slap down the ruler and do your best to draw a straight non-slanted line. This will be your hemline or how short your shorts will be. Now below that line, about 3 quarters of an inch, draw a second line. Now this is your cutting line. There is a reason why you need two lines and I will show you in a bit. Okay, now grab your crotch and make sure that it will match up with the bottom as well. Lay it down flat with the lines facing towards you. Make double sure that it is all flat. Check the bottom leg if you have to. Now for reassurance, I'm going to pin the sides of the legs and I'm going to place a few pins under the line. You can skip this if you believe you're an awesome cutter, but like I said, for reassurance. Next carefully, may I repeat, carefully cut through both pant legs following the bottom cutting line. You might need a very sharp pair of scissors for this, but you know, just take your time, you'll get through it. Now once you're done, it should look nice and neat like so. Okay, so you have to finish the edges so that the denim or the twill wouldn't fray. Um, you can make a small fold and then stitch all around it, or you can do a zigzag stitch on the edge of the leg, which is the quickest and the fastest way to do it. But since I have a serger, I decided to just serge it. One quick note, there are inseams and side seams on your pants. Be aware that the side seam are facing the same direction from top to bottom. If it's twisted like this, you will be very uncomfortable in those hot pants. Okay, next fold the bottom up to where the first line was drawn, your hemline, and iron down the fold. You might have to redraw that line on the other leg too, just for guidance. Now go ahead and pin all the way around on both legs. This is to make sure that the folds stay in place. Flip the pants inside out and top stitch about a quarter of an inch away from the folded edge. Now the best thread to use on denim is called top stitching thread. This one is by Gutterman and it usually comes in different shades of gold, yellow, light brown to match most denim threads. As you can see, it is definitely thicker than normal thread. And I will have gelato chew on all of your cords if you ask me if you can use just normal thread. Well, you can, but your pants will probably rip in public, so I have totally warned you. <laughs> So a few things to keep in mind when you're sewing with denim. Remember that your machine is not made for it. When you get to a really lumpy spot while you're sewing, try to walk your needle through. Meaning that you'll have to use the hand wheel to help it pass through the thicker areas. Also, if you have pants that have double top stitching, don't be lazy, double stitch your hem as well. It just makes it look a lot nicer. To do this, place the right edge of your foot right on the first top stitching line and then just sew. You will get two trails like this that will definitely give it a much more professional touch. Another thing to remember is you want to start sewing from the crotch. I know, I have an obsession with crotches. But when you backstitch, you don't want it to be seen on the sides of your shorts or anywhere else. And so that's pretty much it. Not too hard, but hopefully I equipped your brains with some techniques so you can turn all of your unworn pants into cute, cute little short shorts. By the way, if you want to see me wear this in an outfit of the day, go ahead and click on the little me on the side. And alright, have fun, good luck. And of course, it's definitely not a sewing video if you don't rock on fashionistas. Bye!